And yeah, generally, fundamentally for me, we, we have lots of clients that, that goes through this. And I would say the key things is uh, you still need to learn to manage. So it doesn't really matter. Like people call it outsourcing or VAs. I just call it resources, right? Like when you hire people, it doesn't really matter to me if you hire them in UK or South Africa or somewhere else. Uh, when someone works for you, it's, it's about learning how to manage them well. And a lot of time, the, the main reason why people don't get the most out of sort of outsourced labor is because they treat them as lower cost labor. And mm -hmm. fundamentally, you know, people are people to treat them like an employee. They, they will generally deliver good stuff. If you, if you know people in the first place, right? Uh, so you can just get just as much out of someone who lives halfway around the world as, as elsewhere, right? And, uh, that's really, for me, the probably the number one key thing is really treat them as a regular employee, uh, you know, have frequent conversations with them, be clear on your expectations and so on. And the mentality in South Africa is very similar to, to Western Europe, right? And, and US even, and, uh, yeah, it's often, you know, it up price or sometimes even lower in terms of cost for finding very, very, very good people. Uh, so fully something we enjoy. And, uh, yeah, but people can obviously get up some like a, a risk of sourcing and as many other companies that can help hire as well. So that's also an option. Uh, and people can also do it themselves. Uh, for example, looking at LinkedIn or something, um, it's relatively easy to find talent. Thank you very much for sharing that. And yeah, things that, th things that I've heard myself echoed in the industry. So I, I know the truth of a lot of what you've just said, um, but great to hear it from somebody else as opposed to me having to share my own experience a lot of the time. Um, so then to come round to the, um, the general questions that I ask on the podcast each week. And the first of those being, what is one marketing technique, framework, panel, technology that you wish people would use more? What is the, 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 the secret key to marketing in your eyes for a small to medium business? Well, I'm happy people don't use it more because that would make it more difficult for me, I guess. 